Hello guys and welcome to a new game and we have an update that is absolutely fabulous so today I am recording on the Xbox 360 and as if you didn't know these have officially been stopped being made now 360s have stopped being made they're not making them anymore they're not being produced so if you want to grab one now I would grab one now as they're going to become very scarce very fast so today we are playing an incredibly old game which I fell in love with I don't know how many years ago but I fell in love with it, and it's called Condemned 2. Now, I would be playing Condemned 1 first, but unfortunately, I couldn't find that game in the shop. I could only find Condemned 2, and yes, I could order it online. However, that would require effort on my part and money. Um, So, yeah, we're going to be playing Condemned 2. I remember playing Condemned 1 and not enjoying it as much anyway. Um, But yeah, just to point out, I have played Condemned 2 before. I have never completed the game fully. I've never fully finished the game or anything like that but I have played it before um, and I did do quite a lot of the game uh, but I never actually finished the game so I am really looking forward to playing this game it has been a long long time since I've played it and my god am I missing it so I'm going to turn all of this down to 65 for this play well I still quite loud. I'm actually going to turn it down to 50 for this playthrough I'm going to for like these first few videos it's going to be a I'll put the music up to about 60, sound effects can go to 55, and speech effects need to be full. But that's going to be it um, for this. I'm going to turn up the brightness because my, my eyesight has gone really bad. Um, we're going to turn subtitles on for you guys. And we're going to turn targeting crosshair on. And the luck speed's going to go up to about 42. So there we go. That's what's going to happen there. It's just going to save it. But yeah, this is an incredibly good game. I love it to pieces. So we are going to get into this and we are going to have fun. So see, I've got... Um, continue game uh, I can replay the mission which is what I'm gonna do for you guys I'm gonna restart all the way from the beginning um, and we're gonna play it on Ooh, get your feet wet you'll be waist deep and dive in head first and then there's this one <laughs> FPS mode mode lock play through the game to unlock this mode um, because I remember this game being specifically hard uh, I'm gonna go normal but I might change that. I don't have much time. Ethan trusted you. I... Nice. I'm Ethan Bradbury. That Ethan. I received the call 1036 this morning. Damn graphics, though. Any idea who this man is? Why he called you? No, sir. <laughs> God, Where is my former face. Agent Thomas? We're not sure. It's been 11 months since his suspension. He was cleared of those charges. Oh, right. Nevertheless, he resigned from the agency shortly after and basically disappeared. That face, though, he looks like down in some gutter. Unlikely. A man like that doesn't just lie down quietly. Okay. Let's find Mr. Thomas and bring him in. Sweet ass chips. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad for you. Never touch drugs. It's for you. Says his name's Malcolm Van Horn. <sighs> right, but if he calls again, I'm hanging up. It's a fucking answer machine. Blows a kiss. Oh God! Jesus, that is not pretty. Get out! Oh boom! That's me, Ethan Thomas. Drunk, tired, and pissed off. Why? Because this damn city's too fucking blind to see what's killing them. But I can. I've seen it unspeakable. Oh! It's out there. I have a feeling we're about to get better acquainted. <sighs> oh, 
fucking love this game. I'm sorry, by the way, that the first game isn't being played um, first. Uh, if you do want to go check it out, I'll leave. Uh, you can always go. Well, I would say I'll leave it like a link in the description. But if you guys go off, just look it up online, the story for Condemn 1. It's a really, really short, simple story. And it's really easy to follow. Um, but, you know, basically... It's too damn cold to be sitting in the mud. Hey, let me help you up. Piss off. He's just trying to be nice to you, you dick. So see, you've got all like these different combo attacks and strategies and stuff and upgrades and forensic science and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to turn the sound effects up a little bit because I feel like I've lowered them way too much. It's probably why they were so high in the first place. So I apologize for that. But I don't know if it's going to improve it anymore. But here we go. So yeah, see, we can fight... Uh, Got a flashlight by here. So if I wanted, I could start a fight with him, but I gotta tell you, you smell worse than I do. Son of a bitch! Oh, I can't start a fight with him. I thought I could start a fight with him. Whoops. Uh, okay, player response. Player response is a time moment for you to express yourself. Be ready because the opportunity can happen at any time. Hey, screw you! Whoa, we got ourselves a mean drunk, real grade A asshole. <clears throat> I can't actually hit him. Bearing in mind that our character is a cop, so that would make sense. Look, man, I don't need another enemy. And you probably don't either. So let's see we start over. Yeah, I got just the thing that's gonna make us friends. Really? Follow me. Why the fuck would I do that? Special moves. In some case cases, secreting through tight spaces requires a special move. Approach the gap near the barrels and follow the bump yeah, up the stairs. The and follow the bum up the stairs. I I love how like homeless people used to get called bums. They're not allowed to be called bums anymore, I don't think. I think you have to just call them homeless. So follow the bum up the stairs and help him open the gate. You ready for that drink? School, three Get meters, five giggle. meters, one to six responses. Get out of the way. That was another response. Hey, well, you the <laughs> well, on Trebu, my new friend. I wanna go have a look over here. For a sec, I want to make sure there's nothing in there. I never used to check anything for like collectibles and stuff, so please, for the love of God, don't expect that shit from me. Um, but here we go. This is where we learn to fight. <coughs> Look who it is. Stinking drums. Couple of losers. Hey, come say that to my face. This guy's basically a dick in the beginning, uh, like in the first game, so. LT and RT to perform jab attacks. Hint, look for opportunity to strike without leaving yourself vulnerable to enemy counter attacks. This is a really, really hard game, by the way, with fighting. Like, it is really fucking hard. Like, it is not easy at all. Stop hiding and help me, you son of a bitch. Press and hold these two to power it. You have to do it at the right time. Like that. Oh. I saw you going for a punch, then, motherfucker. One, two, combo. For two alternative jobs, then attack when the screen displays the combo attack timer. Hint, a combo will fail if damage is taken at any time during the sequence. They are good to hit. And you learn that very slowly through this game. <coughs> I missed. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Para counter. <coughs> oh. Come on, come on. Oh. Now finish him. He was finished. Melee combat. Melee combat works exactly the same as fast combat. Arm yourself with a 2x4 from the garbage can and defeat the remaining enemies. The weapon can break though, so you do have to be careful. But I fucking love this game, man. Like, literally. <laughs> Fuck you. How's that? Huh? Oh, yeah, that. Ha, bitch. You motherfucker. How about that? I got another one. Okay. 
Fucking son of a bitch. Fuck you. I'm going to end you. Oh, mother of God. Oh, Jesus. No, no. Don't use the brick. No. No, I'm not having fun here. No. Son of a bitch. Yeah, don't hit people with bricks. That's just fucking rude. God damn it. God damn it, piece of shit. Ugh. Well, that's that then, I guess. Uh, <laughs> not the greatest beginnings. Uh, we're going to heal up because we did lose. Uh, so you notice you get health regen as well. God. Uh, okay. So the guy is gone. By the way, you've got to look out for these TVs, news report TVs and radios with antenna offer important information to find reception, grab the antenna and slowly adjust with the right stick. So these are good to do. Ignoring that call from Van Horn was foolish and you know it. Forget the past, how he used you, and how he destroyed your life. Suck my dick. Like you, he knows about them. And right now, that's all you've got. Oh god. Horn? What are you? Oh! Now I can't remember if Van Horn is in this one or the first one. It has been such a long time since I've played this game, so please guys bear with me if I get stuff wrong or if uh, I do something wrong. So, I'm going to try my best not to though. So, the condition on this one is higher. So you can see on the thing it's got damage speed, reach and condition. And the condition on this one was higher, so that's why I took it. I know you can hit eventually, like kick. Yeah, there we go, I found out how to kick, sweet. Uh, so you can get a pipe off the wall. So Damage is less than a reacher's wretch, but it's an electrical conduct, so we want to keep more damage, I think. Pipe lever, the reach is longer, but the damage and the speed is down, but the condition is higher. <laughs> Fucking dog. I forgot about you, you little bitch. Alright. Uh, okay. By the way, when you hit random objects with this, uh, with your weapons as well, that takes down the condition I've done, so I really shouldn't be hitting random objects with stuff. Uh, now I do think... Yeah, I knew there was one guy down here. Oi! Fuck you. Oh! God damn! Sonic emitters. These, these mysterious devices are scattered through the city. The purpose is unknown, but they have linked to steady increase in criminal activity. Destroy them when you find them. There's a Sonic thing nearby. Locate and destroy. So it does tell you when you've got like a sonic thing uh, nearby, which is good. Um, I can't remember exactly what they do, but I know they do something, so... They do hurt you though, so you do have to be, be careful. Um, okay, so that's emitters one, antennas one out of five. So there's five antennas in this fucking level, Jesus. So when you find a thing like that, you go, there you go. So that's just basically informing us a little bit more about what those uh, those things do. By the way, if you come across these things, regardless of if it damages your weapon, always open them up because you never know when you're going to need them. I don't think anyone who is watching this right now, uh, unless you actually continue to play these games, which would be pretty cool, um, but a lot of people probably, probably don't play them. Um, but I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys have enjoyed, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well on the way out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I will catch you guys in the next episode, which I cannot wait for, of Condemned to Bloodshot. Goodbye for now, and see you guys in the next one.